Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a phenomenal day or evening in case because this video is getting uploaded really, really late. Because ish happened yesterday, did not want it to happen, but I really wanted Chop My Sash to go up after following what was the last video we shot? The Ulta haul, because I wanted to pull stuff from the Ulta haul. I really didn't want to push Shop My Sash off further because I already did the wrap up review on today's Friday. So that was on Wednesday. Tuesday. What day? Sha sha sha. Sha 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 day. It was on that day. Um, so now if you're not familiar with what a shop my sash is, basically I'm a beauty hoarder, not collector. No no one collects makeup. If you do, you're weird. Like, no. We hoard it. Um, so yes, I'm a humongous beauty hoarder of all things beauty. So I like to do shop my sash. So it gives me two weeks to use up a bunch of different products and touch and actually use things and not just look at them on a shelf. I'm terrible about that. Especially like scrubs and lotions. I just think I need all of them and to touch none of them. So the first one, I always do this in now two parts because I'm doing two weeks rather than one week is what I used to do. Um, because I like giving you guys other content than a lot of shop my stash just so give me four extra days and a lovely month. As long as they actually up the load because things happen. I'm human. I like to... I'm human. Sometimes things happen. So yes, this is my adorable bag that I'm using for this week. And I'm really... He's fat. Look how fat that is. Um... But if you watched my Ulta haul yesterday, that was my 2,000 points. Not kidding. That is not... What is it? Clickbait? I'm like, had to think about it for a second. Uh, I really did pay 59 cents for my Ulta haul. And I got... It was, what, $183 with makeup? It was a lot. 97 cents. And 97 cents. If you've not checked it out, you should check it out. I'll try to remember to put it in the cards. I don't know. My sister does all that jazz. So let's get into this. So... I'm just going to pull everything out at random because yeah, my life's random anyway, so why not have my makeup video be random? Um, actually, no, I'm not going to be completely random. I'm going to pull out the one thing that I was really, really stinking excited about. Um, come out of here. So, he's a little, his box got dented in shipping, but this is the new Urban Decay and Naked Heat Palette, and I'm really singing excited, I'm really excited to swatch them, because I have not touched them, it's kind of like my rule of thumb with these videos, is I don't necessarily like to touch them before I do videos of them, because then I'm like not giving you guys like my true reaction, that's why I also don't like to do new takes of videos, because I'd rather have you guys have my raw, unedited, uncut reality, because feel like there's not enough reality out there, especially in the beauty community. Everything's fabulous. That's a lie. Freaking liars. Um, so yes, this is the Naked Heat. I love how I'm using its box to show it off. I'm also going to take out his lovely little brush because I'm terrified he's going to get dropped onto my floor. I guess it's better than being dropped from the candle. Actually, I'm lit, even though it's 5 million degrees. Because I live, I swear I live in the end. I have to live on the sun. It must be the sun. Because no joke, my house, I am scared. It is not even, I think it's not even the middle of summer, right? Right, to see? No. It's not even the middle of summer. In my house, I, it's 4 degrees from being 90 degrees in my house. AC is kicking in. It's not helping can tell of the climate I live in. But yes, this is the lovely Naked Heat. I am in love with this palette. I cannot wait to play with it. Just because it has so many, as I'm dropping things, um, it has a lot of red shades, like fire, heat, um, which look absolutely stunning on me. I'm just going to swatch a couple of them because there's so much other stuff. So I'm just going to swatch some of my absolute, oh my gosh, there's so many. I'm living for these shades. I love how I immediately, I gravitate towards shimmers. I love freaking shimmer shades. I'll swatch a couple of shimmers, and I'll swatch, I guess, a couple matte shades. But shimmers are most definitely, hands down, my favorite shades of all times. I don't know, I just love the extra, like, pretty sparkles. But yeah, they're mostly red shades. There's, like, one, like, kind of purpley plum shade, and I'm going to swatch him. I'm running out of fingers. There we go. Um, so, there are some lovely swatches of him. You've probably have seen. If you are a makeup junkie, you've probably seen Heat already. I've seen a five million. Look at those shimmer shades, though. Do, 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 do. So, this one right here with my lovely swatch fingers. Um, this one is Lumbre. I think that's how you pronounce it. Pronunciations are not my forte on this channel. If you're new, 
Welcome to my channel. I don't know how to pronounce things. I'm a terrible human being. Um, this one right here is absolutely gorgeous, and this is Scorched. Um, this one right here is Ember. Oh, my gosh. And then these two are lovely matches, you guys can kind of tell. Um, this one right here is... Which one was that? Oh, yeah, that was in... In few, how did we pronounce that? In Fugo? Yeah, I think so. In Fugo. On Fugo. In on Fugo. Fugo. On Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, on Vixen. Um, and then this one right here is Ashes, which, I'm sorry, he's a very plummy kind of shade. I don't know how they get Ashes. I'm like trying to figure out where my makeup wipes are. I have them near me. Um, I don't know, when I think of Ashes, I think of like, I don't know, black, gray, charcoal, purple not not so much um, but I don't care it's an absolutely stunning palette and I cannot wait to freaking play with him I really wanted to play with him for this video but I wanted him to be completely untouched so I could give you guys my actual reaction of him on camera rather than my absolute obsession which I know I'm gonna have from him later on so let me pop him away I'm in love 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 and I also love the packaging because he is plastic unlike his first sister if you don't know, I own all of the Naked palettes with the exception of Naked One. I will probably never own him because he's velvet. hate velvet packaging. Just like I'll never own Modern Renaissance Montage of Beverly Hills. Any of the velvet packaging, there's some beautiful It Cosmetics palettes, and I will never own them because I don't like velvet packaging. They get dirty so easily, and they do not clean well. Moving right along. So next is also from my Ulta haul, which is going to be mine for about two weeks while I do my shot my stash. And then I will go into my Susie's Hot Little Hands where I will proceed to probably never see him again. This is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. Look at that. Look at that. Um, it is absolutely stunning. I really actually only care for about three shades in the palette, which are more neutral. Um, I care for all of them. My sissy loves all of them. Look how gorgeous those are. I will swatch all six of these for you guys but it's absolutely stunning but I'm only really into this shade right here which is it I, uh, I was gonna throw it into my face that would have been terrible and it would have been extra highlighter um so that is Aurora no how did I look at Eclipse and go Aurora Get out! Um, this is Eclipse this is Luna and then I like Lyra so these three, which are more like my ghost shades, these, no joke, I'll probably use as eyeshadows. Um, that's Spectra. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these so I can mention their names. Ooh, he's so pretty. We swatched him inside of, hang on, just look at that first before I actually swatch him. Look at that. How freaking stunning is that? It's just, oh my gosh, absolutely stunning. We swatched them when we were inside of Ulta. I think I was getting my hair done when I swatched this. I do not know. Also, side note, if you're still wondering, yes, I still hate my hair. Um, no. Um, if you haven't heard any of my times of ranting about my hair. Um, so, I kind of let my stylist cut my hair wet, which I've never done before. Um, I should have known. I should have known. Um, because... When she cuts it dry, I kind of have, like, full control over, like, I'm literally sitting down and this is how my hair already looks. Um, and so, um, it just, I don't like it. it. It's not, I have this giant chunk that is extra fluffy on the side of my head because he's curlier, because my hair is shorter in that section. I don't like it. That was random. Making small talk. Why, uh, awkward small talk. You know, like normal life. Um, why I swatch these? These are so freaking stunning. Um, but there are all the lovely swatches. Oh my gosh, so freaking pretty. Um, so this one right here is Eclipse. Next to it is Luna, which is a lovely white. The purple is called Spectra. Um, the green shade is called Gila. Um, this is Orin, and then this is Lyra. Look how freaking pretty. They're all so freaking stunning looking. Um, but yeah, the colored ones, I'm just like, I don't know, the color, they're all technically colors. I'm just not really into like the blue, the green, or the purple. Just because in my complexion, the way I typically do my makeup, um, I like that lovely, like almost natural esque glow to my face and not a futuristic kind of glow to my face. But he's pretty, and now I know why I called it Aurora. It's the Aurora palette. Oh my gosh. That'd be why I called Eclipse Aurora. I'm special. I um, know my sissy fell in love with this palette, and so when we used our points, we were like, you know what? We'd never probably get this normally. Let's go ahead and get it. Next. 
since I'm on a palette roll, let's go ahead and continue with palettes. Um, this one, which I'm slightly hating. Can you guys see the smudging already on this palette? Just from it being one day in use with me. Um, but this is the Real Her Eyeshadow Palette, Be Your Own Kind of Beauty. I don't know if that's actually... That's just a saying, or that's actually like a name of the palette. But this is palette one. There's three different palettes, and it is absolutely stunning. Look how pretty those are. So I'm actually wearing that as my eyeshadow today, and I am in love with them. I'm actually wearing um, Strong, which is a matte brown in my crease, and then I am wearing um, not that one, um, Courageous all across my lid. I did my. Um, outer corner with Unique, and then I did my inner corner and highlighted my brow bone with Fun. Absolutely pretty. But I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm really shocked with the pigmentation. I can't wait to play with it more to see how I fully feel about it. Um, last, last palette, last palette. Um, this is from The Bomb. This is the Bomb Voyage traveling palette, whatever the fudge. Um, so it's got down on the bottom, which I love to keep them separate. It has a lip and cheek, and those are the colors. I did not use it from the last palette. I don't know if I'll actually ever touch it on this palette. Um, and then this is the inside of the palette. It's got nine eyeshadows, which I don't know how much I will get into just because I have heat to play with, and the real her palette, and probably Aurora, because I'm probably going to put this over my eyelids, but absolutely pretty shades. I love this blue shade right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a, a bronzer in here, a highlighter, and then two lovely blushes. Let me see, what are your names? I think they're all names just, I'm not pronouncing this. Look at these. I don't even know how well he'll focus. Can you guys see that? Can you see these weird names? I don't know how to pronounce this. Hung, hung, cha, cha, cha. I don't know what any of these words are. I know welcome. Do they all say welcome in different languages? I'm going to pretend that's what it all says. It all says welcome. In five million two languages. I do not know. Um, though, side note, if you saw my... Oops. My sister just scared the living daylights out of me because she pushed her wallet off her bed. Oh. I'm sorry. Now that my heart is racing. Um, no, side note. If you saw my shot, my stash with the last, I think it was the Rockstar palette from the bomb. I really liked it and I liked its review until I played the other day with a black shade from it. It was like black and like navy. And that was terrible. That was the most. It did not want to blend. It was so patchy. So I'm going to make sure that this time I play with a little bit more of the dark shades inside this palette so I can actually give you guys a full review on how their eyeshadows work. But I'm wearing the blonde, the blonde, the blonzer. That's a new product, the blonzer. It makes you blonde, makes you an idiot. Um, no. No stereotyping blondes. But no, I'm wearing the bronzer, um, to contour, and then I'm using, which blush did I end up using? I used the peachy one. I love that I'm actually pulling up, like, I'm going to be able to tell you guys the shade name. Um, but no, it was the, let me open them up. Bloop, bloop. The peachy shade. Um, and then I used the highlighter from inside this palette. So obviously I have plenty of highlighter to play with this week. Um, next which I am very, very excited to use. This came out of my Beautycon box, and I've been dying to kind of play with one, but I have not wanted to purchase one because I just don't feel like purchasing it. I have so many other things to play with. Um, this is from Makeup Drop, and this was in a collaboration with Beautycon, and this is a silicone makeup applicator. I remember it being $20 and being, that's disgusting. And my Beautycon box is only $29. This is not sponsored by Beautycon. Beautycon is sponsoring me. We're two babies. We're, we're still a small little baby channel. Um... Opening him up. I love how I literally like put him back in the box just to shove him in my bag. I'm weird about that. I end up putting them back in their boxes. Um, but that is what he looks like. He's a lovely little teardrop. I'm excited to see how well. I've heard a lot of people love these or they absolutely detest them. So I'm excited to see how I feel about him. I'm gonna pop you right there. Um, the primer I'm using is from Smashbox, which this actually came out of a boxy charm box. Um, this it was the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Also, if you already love this foundation primer, make sure you always get the travel size because it's cheaper than buying the full size, which is dumb, but whatever. Never buy the full size. Unless they decide to change their pricing. Never buy the full size. 
moving right along. Um, the two mascaras that I'm going to be using this week. Wow, I'm really down to like mascaras and lipsticks. Beautiful. Um, I have so many lipsticks though. So many lipsticks to try. Um, so the first mascara I am using is from Lorac. This is the Cobra Mascara. If you watched my last shop, my stash last week, uh, last bi-weekly, I don't know what to say. Last shop, my stash. Um, he was in my last shop, my stash, but I want to continue using him because I really, really liked him. And I kind of want to make sure I keep track of the mascaras I open because some of them have gotten pushed in, I think, with my other mascaras. And so now I'm kind of going, I don't know which ones are open. But the second you open them or release them to air, you set their three-month lifespan. So, fun times. Um, next mascara I'm going to use is from Buxom. I love how I didn't show the Wand of Cobra. Let me open the Wand of Cobra. I know I've shown him before in a couple other videos now. But he has his wand. He literally looks like a cobra head. But I love because he gives nice and fluffy lashes. And then Buxom, I don't actually remember what its wand actually looks like. So, we're going to see that together. I want to say he's like... Nope, that's not what I was imagining. I was imagining more like the Better Than Sex wand. But he does concave in a little bit in the middle, like the Better Than Sex wand. But he's very, very tiny, thin at bristles. So, I don't remember how I liked him, so we'll see. We will see. I swear if I remember correctly, I wasn't in that impressed with him. So now the fun swatching of all the lip products. I picked, what, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, because I need seven. That's literally like I'd have to use like one practically every single day for the rest of my show massage. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's just go on. So first one I'm gonna use is from Mally, and this is in Pink Daisy. This is their. Do you actually tell me what you are? Da 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 da. That's your distribution. And nope. Where's my phone? I have no idea. It does not say physically on. So I hate products that do that and they don't have the brand, the ounces, the shade name, and the um, actual like what the product freaking is. It drives me nuts. It's like I pick it up and I'm like, oh cool, you're from this one brand, but I have no idea of any indication of what you actually are. Fun times. Mally, I have no idea what it is. I'm going to type in its, I guess it's shade name and hope that the Ulta website is able to figure it out. This is in shade Pink Daisy. I think it's a lip gloss because I tried to wear it in earlier and I think it was a lip gloss. Yes, it is their H3. What the fudge is H3? Hi, three people that I might be watching this video. Um, no. So, H3 lip gloss. I really have no idea what that means. Um, it's $20. Does it? No, no, no. It comes in six shades. There's six shades available. That's fun times. Um, but yeah, he's a $20 lip gloss. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of lip gloss. I did already put him on, and he doesn't have that tacky feeling. He's not quite the, um... Too Faced Creamy Peach Lip Oil lip glosses. This is definitely more... Glossy, like. Do you hear that sticky sound? That sounds disgusting. It, uh, my sissy can hear it. Um, but I'm gonna give him a go. I'm gonna see if I like him. Um, because I watched him earlier. Oh wait, I didn't even watch him. Ha 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 ha. Um. I mean, he doesn't feel uber sticky when I'm swatching him. So I imagine he's not gonna feel uber sticky when I wear him. He's really pretty. I think it's when I go to like, yeah, when I take off his swatch, he then feels kind of like, at least the skin feeling kind of slick, so I'm going to think he's not very hydrating feeling on my lips, just kind of like fake feeling on my lips. Um, so next, the two liquid lipsticks that I'm using. I'm using one from Tarte. It's their Tartist Matte Lip Paint. Very, very pretty. And this one is in the shade Delish. I love how I must sniff them. Oh wow, that's a lot. I did not rub off. Do you guys ever do that when you guys go to like put on your liquid lipsticks and you didn't like pre kind of wipe them off on the sides to make sure you don't have like a glob on? Yep, I just did that with him. Look how pretty that is. It's a little bit darker than I typically wear with my nudes. I picked a lot more like nude shades and pink shades because I haven't been into like the berry and red as of late. This smells really good. This smells like cupcake batter. Actually, more like muffin batter. Um, this is from Ofra Cosmetics. This is their Long Lasting Liquid Lip. And the shade... Oh, my word. What was it? It came in the BoxyCharm box. 
It was in Santa Ana. Yeah, Santa Ana, I think that's was its name. Again, why don't you just put it on the packaging? Why did you have to send me an extra card going, this is the shade name. This literally smells like muffin batter. Um, this is like more of like a berry kind of shade. It's very, very pretty though. There he is. Absolutely gorgeous. I felt like I needed like a different color because I literally felt like I grabbed mostly nudes. Um, next, this is a Buxom. This is their full-on lipstick. Rude. I don't have no idea what that means. I don't know. I just remember, I think we got this one in a Sephora Play Box. Because um, I think it's one of their most, like, love shades or something. I think we got this in Sephora Light. I'm 99% sure. But this is more like a deep berry color. But it looked like it was going to be more hydrating lipstick. So I was like, we'll give him a go. We'll have fun with him. We'll try him out. Um, next is from Makeup Forever. This is C211. Why can't they all just be like Makeup Forever? They're just letters and numbers. So this is little packaging. This is a mini Makeup Forever lipstick. I love having minis. So I can try like 50 pounds more lipsticks and not have 16 billion large tubes of lipstick I would never use. Um, but I love him. He's a very nice pretty pink color. Um, but again he also looks very nice and creamy. Ooh. I, don't, I just haven't been feeling matte shades as much. So I'm trying to like Pick some that aren't matte because I do own a lot of matte shades. I'm really shocked how many matte shades I am. Um, next is from Kat Von D. This is one of her studded lipsticks, and this is in the shade Lovecraft. And again, it's a cute mini. Um, I think this came out of one of the Sephora favorites like lipstick sets. Um, but that is a gorgeous kind of like mauvey kind of color. Looks very similar to the Makeup Forever, except he's matte and a little bit darker. Super duper pretty and smells like cupcakes. And then, what else do we have? Da, 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 da. One last lipstick. Um, this one is from Lipstick Queen. I have not actually used him. He's still in his box. I actually, take it back. I've used him. He's on my lips right now. I stuck him back in his box. Um, but yes, this is Saint Rust. They got this from Nordstrom Rack. Check out Nordstrom Rack. Found them really cheap because I do not buy these in store because they are way too expensive. Smells like chemicals. Uh, but he's a really pretty kind of like rusty red shade. I'm wearing on my lips. I really, really like him. I like the consistency of the Lipstick Queen lipsticks. That looks gorgeous. There he is. Awkwardly swatched on like part of my thumb. Uh, but yes, I think that is it. Yes, that is it for my makeup shop my stash. Stay tuned. I will have my beauty care. So all my hair care lotions, face wash, all that jazz, the honey badger, focusing on I don't know what. Focus back on my face. Thank you, honey badger. If you don't know what honey badger is, he's my camera. What I named him because honey badger doesn't always like working for mama. Uh, but yes, that's it for this video as I'm awkwardly sitting here trying to get this tart lipstick doesn't want to come off of my hand. Um, he has to be, I wore him earlier and the only reason he came off was because I ate food um, and so oils and stuff will help break down liquid lipstick. I think I'm going to need oil to get him off. I literally feel like I'm rubbing my hand raw. I'm like looking at you know I have something right here. Ha ha ha. Let's see if this takes it off. It might. I don't know. Um, I'm literally trying to get this off. He does not want to come off. I'm going to say that as a good sign. He's probably a great lipstick, liquid lipstick that doesn't like to come off. Long wear. Um, but yes, that's it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get notifications on where my videos actually get uploaded, make sure you hit the little bell notification button. And if you want to follow me on my different forms of social media, make sure you follow in the link in the description below to all of the different forms. Also, if you've not yet entered my giveaway, I'm giving away an exclusive Sephora VIB Rouge makeup bag, as well as a original beauty blender, so make sure you check that out. That will be up in the cards, which is above my lovely head of hair, which, by the way, my hair is looking fabulous today. I have to take a picture. Sure, I need to post on Instagram. Um, but yes, that's it for this video, guys. Stay boxy.